right then gang so there's one more thing i want to do with these different skeleton screen components and that is to add a bit of a shimmer a bit of an animation effect so it's like light passing as the data is loading so to do that we're going to use css animations so don't worry if you don't know much about CSS animations, it is going to be quite a simple one. But if you do want to learn more, again, I've got a whole video tutorial series on this very channel all about CSS animations, and I'll leave the link to that down below. But anyway, let's create this kind of shimmer effect for these different components. So to begin with, I'm going to create a shimmer component and we'll call that shimmer.js. So inside here, I'm just going to paste in a component because it's very simple and it's called shimmer it returns a very simple template which is a div with the class name of shimmer wrapper and then a div inside called shimmer now the way this is going to work is that this div is going to be placed inside either our skeleton article or skeleton profile inside the wrapper like here or maybe at the bottom down here it doesn't really matter and it's going to be positioned absolutely relative to this okay so it's going to start in the top left and it's going to go all the way to the right and all the way to the bottom it's going to take up the full width and height of whatever skeleton component article or profile we put it in right that's the shimmer wrapper so this shimmer thing right here that will then be the thing the light that kind of goes all the way across this parent right here and it's going to be about 50 percent of the width of this parent so it's going to go all the way from the left through the component and off the screen to the right okay so that's the way we're going to work this it might sound a bit complicated but it's really not that complex i'm going to save this and i'm going to embed this shimmer into the skeleton article and we'll do that at the bottom below this div right here because it's not inside the article it's just inside the wrapper so let's do this shimmer right here so now we need to style this up and create the CSS animations so let me do a little comment down here which says animation effect and below that I want to first of all say shimmer hyphen wrapper and that's the wrapper right here remember this thing and we want to position that as absolute so position absolute now in order to position it absolutely to the parent which is if we take a look inside skeleton article the skeleton wrapper this must have a position of relative so we need to go back up to the skeleton wrapper and say position is going to be relative okay so then the shimmer wrapper also needs to be from the top zero pixels and the left zero pixels so it starts in the top left this element the width of it is going to be 100 percent so it goes all the way across the parent all the way across the skeleton article and the height is going to be 100 percent of the skeleton article or whatever other skeleton component we place in like the skeleton profile so that's the shimmer wrapper now i want to style up the shimmer div right here in itself and that's the thing that's going to actually have the kind of glow the thing that we see moving from the left to the right so let's do that below here we'll say shimmer and i'm going to say the width of this will be 50 percent so 50 percent of the wrapper and then we're going to give this a height of 100 percent so it takes up the full height of the skeleton component then i'm going to give this a background which is white but semi-transparent so it basically just lightens everything up so the background will be rgba and the a's for the alpha channel 255 255 255 which is white and then i'm going to give this an opacity of 0 0.2 so it's only slightly transparent okay okay i also want to transform this by giving it a skew so it's kind of angled to the right so skew in the x direction and we'll do that by minus 20 degrees okay so what i'm going to do is save this and i'm going to refresh over here to see if we can see you see that light the left hand side is a bit lighter than the right hand side what i'm going to do is increase this number right here to about 0.8 so you can see that more clearly save it and refresh and we can see the left hand side has this kind of shimmer div right now what i want to do is scoot that all the way from off the component to the left so it's hidden all the way over to the right so it's hidden again and i want to do that maybe every two seconds or something like that so in order to do that we're not actually going to animate this we're going to animate this 
right? This is the thing that's going to go from left to right. So how exactly are we going to do this? Well, first of all, let's create a keyframes animation down here. So we'll say keyframes and we're going to call it loading. You can call it what you want, but I'm calling this animation loading. And then at 0%, so that means at the very start of the animation, I want to have a transform property where we're going to translate the X coordinate and it's going to be minus 150%. And that basically means take 150% of your own width and move that amount to the left. So that means it's going to be way over to the left over here. Okay. So you can't see it in the component itself. So that's where it's going to start way over to the left. Now at 50%, so halfway through the animation, I want to take that transform and I want to translate X again. And this time it's going to be at minus 60%. So by this time, halfway through, it's moved to just before, just before the start of it over here. Okay. So we can probably just about see the tip of it. And then at 100%, I want it to be way over to the right. So 100%. I'm going to say transform and it's going to be translate X again. And this time it's going to be by plus 150%. So it's going to go way off, off the components, way over to the right. So it's going to animate from way over here all the way across to the right. Okay. So we should see this go all the way over to the right. Now, what I'm going to do is come over here and apply the animation to the Shiba wrapper. So animation is going to be the loading one. That was the name of the keyframes animation. And then it's going to last 2.5 seconds and I want it to repeat infinitely. So we'll say infinite right here. So if I save this and cross my fingers, hopefully we should see this kind of work. There are going to be problems, so don't worry. And um, watch this and um, we can see it go all the way across. The only problem is you kind of see it as well. If I make this about 0.2, which it should be, you'll see it in other parts of the screen as well. Well, you don't really see it because the background is white, but if I go to the body at the top, if I do a rule for body and say background is going to be 333, so a dark gray. If I save this now, watch the sheen go off the skeleton components. You see like that? We can see it and we don't want that. So we want the overflow of the skeleton wrapper to be hidden so that we don't see it while it's outside of the skeleton wrapper. So we'll say overflow hidden for that. And if I save it now and refresh, we shouldn't see it outside of the skeletons. We can just kind of see that sheen going across now. Okay. All right. So we can take off that background and go back to a white background, take another look, refresh, and this should look okay, but I want to soften up the edges of the sheen. If I, Go down here again and make the opacity 0.8 so we can see it more. We can see very hard edges to the sheen, right? Now I want to soften those up a little bit. So in order to do that, I'm going to give this a box shadow. So box shadow and it's going to be 0, 0, 30 pixels, 30 pixels and then RGBA. It's going to be 255, 255, 255, which is white, and then 0 0.05 for the opacity. So that is just going to put a bit of a blur on the edges so it doesn't look as harsh. And if I refresh this, it's a subtle effect, but hopefully you should see that the edges are slightly softer now. OK, if you want, you can take off the animation and see that for yourself. OK, so there's one more thing I want to do because this looks OK for the light theme. In fact, let's knock this back down to 0.2, save it, preview again. This looks okay for this light theme right here, but if I change one of these to the dark theme, it's not quite gonna look okay. Let me go to articles and change the theme to be equal to dark, save it and refresh, and it's gonna look slightly too light, that sheen. So I'm gonna change it when we have a dark theme. So let me go to the CSS again and say this time I want dark, shimmer so when we have the dark class applied as a parent in the wrapper at that point i want to change the background of the sheen and it's going to be rgba again it's still going to be white so 255 255 and 255 
but this time the opacity is going to be 0 0.05 so it's not going to be as bright and if I save that now and refresh this should look a little bit better yep looks a bit more subtle so there we go, that's a simple little sheen that we can add to our different skeleton components. There's loads of different ways of doing this. If you search Google, you're going to probably find about 101 different ways, or you can make your own up as well. If you want help with that using CSS animations, definitely check out that tutorial series on this YouTube channel. The link is going to be down below. But that, my friends, is the end of this series. So hopefully now you know how to create skeleton components for your React applications. And you can do the same kind of thing using things like Vue or Angular as well. So then, my friends, I really, really hope you've enjoyed this series. And if you have enjoyed it, please don't forget to share, subscribe and like. That really means a lot and it helps out an enormous amount. And if you do want to join the cause and support the channel, you can do by clicking the join button on the channel homepage or underneath the video right down below. You also get a little cool ninja badge next to your name in the comments for that. And it's 99 pence or cents per month. And I've also created several premium in-depth courses on Udemy. So the first one is Modern JavaScript. The second one is D3 and Firebase. And the third one is Vue.js and Firebase. So if you want to take one of those, all the links with the discounts automatically applied to them are going to be in the video description down below. So again, thanks so much for watching. And I'm going to see you in the very next course.